Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. I'm going to read through the full article here. There's a link in the description. I have to give a trigger warning of the absolute highest order. This is an absolutely hideous, disgusting topic. Um, so after you've watched this video, go away, do something else. Don't dwell on this subject. It's awful. Um, full condolences go out to all of the victims of the scumbag that we're about to go through and also all of the victims of um, similar and related sick crimes. So it's in regards to this absolute fucking sicko here. His name is Jareth Thomas Harris Markham. Uh, I'll show you his name. Jareth Thomas Harris Markham. 24 years of age from Perth, Western Australia. He's confessed to committing 141 sex crimes against children that have been entrusted into his care. So he was advertising his child minding services online. Uh, so he was promoting himself as a babysitter. Uh, he promoted himself via a website, we need a nanny .com. I've not looked into that website, but perhaps that website, we need a nanny .com, deserves a little scrutiny. Maybe it does deserve a little scrutiny. Maybe it deserves a Yelp review or two. I don't know. I've never used the facility. I'm not familiar with it. But I'm thinking that perhaps it does require some scrutiny, some investigation even. If it has failed the children in at least this case. So this scumbag um, faced a magistrate's court on Tuesday charged with 221 child sex offences, 221, relating to more than a dozen children that he babysat between July 2020 and August 2021. 12 months, 13 months, 221 child sex offences, more than a dozen victims. As I say, he pleaded guilty to 141 of the offences. Pardon me, again, this is disgusting, which included, brace yourself, raping a baby. And molesting several other children. For some reason that I don't fully understand, the remaining charges were dropped. So he was facing 221 child sex offences. He admitted he pleaded guilty to 141 of those. And then, I don't know, the judicial si system turns around and drops the remaining offences. I don't know if I'm fully happy with that. He faces sentencing in the Supreme Court of Western Australia. In September. Let me restate that. And again apologies for the horrendousness. Of this. But he pleaded guilty to 141 of the offences. Relating to child sex offences. Which included. Raping a baby. Give him life in prison. Why the fuck would you not give him life in prison. Um, I don't know if that's on the cards. The article isn't informing us of what the sentencing could be, I believe. Let me just double check. No, I'm not getting that understanding. Um, but I would be thinking that he deserves life in prison. He's an absolute fucking sick scumbag. You know, sick, just like awfully sick. If it were up to me, I'd apply the death penalty. That's not an option in Australia. I hope life in prison is an option for raping a baby. I would hope life in prison is the only option. I don't know whether or not it is. I'm going to read through some further details. The court heard that this scumbag used two websites to promote his babysitting services, claiming on one that he loved helping bring up kids to the best that they can be. After gaining the trust of parents, he took jobs across Perth, as well as Western Australia's northwest area, 
where he committed multiple crimes, which included 10 counts of sexually penetrating a child under the age of 13. Again, the guy needs life in prison. And again, full condolences to the victims concerned and the families of the victims. We hope that they all are able to cope um, with these horrendous attacks. We hope that they and pray that they get the full support that they need physically, mentally, psychologically, emotionally. Um, this guy is an absolute fucking disgusting, just scum. When he is spending, hopefully, the rest of his life in jail, I hope he gets plenty of visits from other inmates so that they can express their feelings about this guy's crime, crimes, this scumbag's crimes. On a website, we need a nanny.com, he claimed he had more than four years of experience. A working with children card, police checks, and a first aid certificate. So I want to know if he did have these things. It's quite possible that he did. It's quite possible that he did. Um, but I want to know that he did have those things. I want to see some level of scrutiny applied. He offered to babysit for 20 to $25 an hour. And, and he said that his babysitting experience spanned more than five years. He was arrested August 22nd, I guess, of last year. And he was found with child exploitation material. Child abuse detectives also seized several gel blasters and edged weapons they found at the prep premises. So edged weapons... Um, I mean, that's going to be knives, gel blasters. I'm going to Google this gel blasters. It's a toy gun, is it? Oh, okay. It's a toy gun that fires gel ballot pellets. Is that it? So he had a number of gel blasters. He was initially charged with 14 child sex offences, including sexual assault of a child under 12 months and producing child abuse material, as well as possession of prohibited weapons. As the investigation progressed, further charges were laid after detectives discovered more victims. Okay, so that's the full article. I'm going to wrap things up here, guys. Um, again, uh, stop watching this video. Go and do something light-hearted, something that's going to give you a little bit of joy, a little bit of happiness, a little bit of light, a little bit of merriment. I fucking don't don't dwell on this subject. Um, we, well, look, we do pray. We 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 pray um, for all of the victims concerned. And we do hope that this scumbag gets exactly what he deserves. Life in prison. I'm going to be disgusted if it's... It better be a fucking... It better be life or, you know, an incredibly long period of time. Um, and, again, I want to see this website uh, face some level of scrutiny. That's my personal opinion. I just feel that... I feel that it's possible, I don't know for a fact, but I feel that it's possible that perhaps that website failed. The parents, if they believed that this website was adequately scrutinizing the babysitters, and if it failed to do so, then I, I don't know, I just feel that there's potentially room for error to have occurred and potentially room for significant improvements improvements to be made um, perhaps even uh, legally so um, not quite sure of the words I'm looking for but maybe there ought to be some laws put in place to ensure that websites promoting 
the services of independent babysitters that they have to go jump through a certain number of hoops um, to ensure that who they choose to promote are not pedos, frankly. Fucking sick cunt. Uh, sick. C-U-N-T. 24 years of age. Gonna wrap things up here, guys. Um, I will be making more videos throughout the day uh, and the evening. Please do like, comment, subscribe. And again, yeah, don't, don't watch any more videos for a little while. Just uh, go enjoy yourself and um, take care.